Hey, it's Amelia. Today I'll be showing you how to access emojis on your laptop or desktop computer, as well as an iPhone. Let's get started. I'm using Windows 10 on my laptop and I'm going to show you two ways to access emojis on your computer. First, by using the touch keyboard and second, by using an easy keyboard shortcut. For the first method, we'll use the touch keyboard First, you'll need to make sure that your touch keyboard button is visible and accessible on the bottom right of your taskbar. It looks like this. To turn the touch keyboard button on or off, you'll want to right click in an empty area along your taskbar and make sure show touch keyboard button is checked. If it isn't checked, go ahead and click on it to toggle that keyboard button on. Once the touch keyboard button is visible, go ahead and click on it to open up the touch keyboard. I typically use a physical keyboard on my laptop, but you can certainly use this touch keyboard to click and type characters in your document. Now you do have to have your cursor positioned in an app where it's going to accept characters and I'm going to get to emojis in a second. But right now I just have Notepad open so I'm just going to click in Notepad and just click on a couple characters just to give you an idea of how easy it is to use the touch keyboard. But really we want to use the touch keyboard to insert emojis. I'm going to hit the space bar and then I'm going to click on this smiley face to see all the emojis. Now to insert an emoji, you'll have to have an app open, as I mentioned, which accepts these types of images. Right now I'm in Notepad, and if I go ahead and paste an emoji, you'll notice that it's in black and white. So you can paste emojis in Notepad, but it's going to be black and white. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to switch over to a couple different apps to show you how you can insert color emojis. Now I've switched over to Word, and when you insert emojis in Word, and I'll go ahead and click on the touch keyboard again, and click emoji, and now when I click on the appropriate emoji, you'll notice that it's in color. Now, if you're using an app where you can increase the font size, you can select the emoji or emojis, increase the font size, and that will also increase the size of the emoji. If you're in your browser, anywhere that you would normally type text, even in a search box, you can insert an emoji. I'll move over to Gmail now, if you use a different mail client, there may be emojis in that program. In Gmail, there's a smiley face icon here to insert an emoji. However, they're a bit different than the usual ones, the ones that you're used to that you've seen on iPhones and the full collection that we see on the touch keyboard. These smiley face icons are a little bit oddly shaped. To me, they resemble gumdrops. There are other categories that have, you know, a pretty good amount of emojis that you can explore if you use Gmail. But let's go ahead and close this so we can take advantage of the emojis in the touch keyboard. Again, make sure your cursor is positioned where you'd like to insert the emoji. Again, I'll click on the touch keyboard button, select the smiley face, and go ahead and click to insert emojis. I'll click on a few more and so forth. Now I've switched back over to Word to show you the second method to access emojis. This is actually easier than using the touch keyboard and it offers some additional options. For this method, you'll want to hold the Windows key down on your keyboard, which looks like this, and tap the semicolon key. Doing so brings up this pop-up box, which displays the same emojis, and this method also, as you hover over the emoji, shows you a description of the emoji in the little tooltip. There's also a search feature 
So if I search for a word, it will bring up the matching emojis based on my word. I'll search for another word, and as you can see, it searched for matching emojis. And I'll go ahead and click on an emoji to go ahead and insert it. And just like if you were texting on your phone, when you type the word and it searches for the emoji, when you replace it with the emoji, the word disappears. Now also in this pop-up box, there's some additional functionality. In addition to the search, I can also see the name of the category and for the people category, there is an optional color palette here. And when you select a color, you're able to change the skin color in the people category. I'll go ahead and select a couple emojis. And then I'll change the color. And you can scroll down. And notice that it will apply to particular people emojis. Also, in the hand gestures, if I change the color, that will also change as well. There's also a couple different tabs here. The second one, to see other types of emoticons made up of characters. There's also a symbols category as well. And they work the same way, where if you click on one, it will insert it in your document. And to close, you just click the X and return to your document or the app that you're working in. Finally, let's take a look at how to use emojis on an iPhone. I'll use the texting feature to demonstrate. When you tap in the message area to jump from the keyboard to the emojis, tap the little world icon. You should then see emojis, including smileys, people category, and so forth. But if you don't see these emojis, you might need to change your iPhone keyboard settings. Tap ABC to return to keyboard, then press and hold the world icon, then tap keyboard settings, and it should take you to your keyboard screen in settings. You can also manually navigate here by tapping settings, general, keyboard, keyboards. Now I have three, but you may only have one or two. If you don't see emoji as a keyboard option, just tap add new keyboard and then select emoji. That's it. And then you'll be able to access the emoji the same way I did by clicking on this world icon. By the way, on the far left of my emojis are what are called Memojis or Memojis. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. This is something new from Apple where you can create your own emoji avatar. You can set that up in messages. I did try it. I don't like it as much, but now they pop up in my emojis. Anyway, by clicking on the different categories at the bottom, you can access all the different emojis. And that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please click like and give it a thumbs up. And remember to click subscribe and check out my other videos as well. Be sure to click the bell icon so you don't miss a single video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.